This video is for people whose horses already know how to lunge and they have some experience with side reins. But this is a refresher to remind you how to begin. So start by keeping in mind that you must be using an English style um, snaffle bit that you need a loose ring snaffle or an egg butt snaffle to lunge with side range. You cannot lunge on any kind of a curve. And you can see that I have her tacked up. And what I'm going to do here is roll the reins for you. So you undo the throat latch if you have one and you roll the reins together one over the other after the other and the throat latch goes through them and this gets them out of the way. If you don't have anything else that you can do, um, if you don't have a throat latch, you can um, tie the ends of the reins together and put them over the horn as long as they are um, loose so that they don't interfere with the side rein. And I am attaching the side reins now. So um, USDF only wants you to use leather side reins and of course they're super safe. They think that they'll break. But most of those don't adjust enough to horses. So I am using nylon side reins which have an elastic on the end towards the bit and they have multiple places to hook them to hook. And these are way more adjustable for our Western horses which tend to be much, much smaller than warm bloods. It's almost impossible to get the leather side reins with a donut small enough for a horse that's 16 hands or under. So I am threading them under um, the girth as you can see and this is just the regular end and I'm clipping that end of it to the first hook on the side rein and the elastic end of the side rein is going to attach to her bit. So I attach both sides <clears throat> and you start by doing that and be sure that you keep your lunch line rolled up and um, you know, don't trip in it. Keeping it well organized is the way to go. So put it through the bit, your snaffle bit, which you need a snaffle, an English snaffle type bit is the only thing you can put side reins on and put it over her pole and attach it to the other side. Be sure that it's flat and level and that the lunge line go, lies flat along the crown piece. Now I've moved her over a little bit so that when I start, when I attach the side reins, that I can be sure that she's facing um, the direction I want to start, which is left because I threaded the lunge line through the left side of the bridle and it went to the right and it hooked up on the right hand side. And I'm pointing out to you that you always want to have your side reins above the point of the shoulder. So. Normally, um, a few inches above the point of the shoulder, they don't want to be lower than that for safety. And on this horse, um, they're, um, you know, about at where my knee would be on her. Now, see, I'm pointing out to you that I'm putting my gloves on. Do not lunge without gloves and a helmet. That's important. You're going to get a rope burn if you don't. And you should always be lunging with a helmet. I also closed the arena and you know a round pen or an arena is really good now the next thing is is that that lunch line um i just accordion pleated it in my hand be sure you start with it accordion pleated so that it doesn't bound bind up around your hand and that it's safe and i'm using the international signal to begin which is a t with your arms now i am not using a whip here this horse is very hot to whip since she doesn't need a whip you may need a whip i understand that the arm signals or the whip signals are the same when you make a t and that's also clint anderson teaches this make a t and the horse moves forward from you so i put my arm out behind her but if i had a whip i would have pointed it at her hawk to tell her to jog the point of lunging in side reins is to ask the horse to come into an on the bit or in connection balance without the rider being present. And she's been very quiet here, but I stop because I see that there's a little bit of a twist in the line and I asked her to halt and I walked right to her shoulder area and then stepped back from her. When you put the arm out, which I did, she moved on in the walk and resumes the circle. For horses that will not stay away from you, you sometimes put the whip at the girth area to keep them out. But um, 
I'm just using arm signals as if I had a whip because this horse is very sensitive and does not need that. The point of the lunging is to get her to come into an ergonomic balance without weight on her, to come onto the bit and become bit broke and come around in the side reins. If the side reins are too low, it puts the horse on the forehand. If they're too high, it pulls the horse's neck up somewhere between the point of the shoulder and just above where your knee would be if you were sitting in the saddle is generally the correct position for the side reins. If you put the side reins on and the horse never becomes round enough, you know that they're not short enough. So as always, you start with them a little bit long and you work them up. This horse has been lunged many, 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 many times. Remember that you only lunge 10 minutes, not longer at a time. And here I asked her for a soft lope transition and we see that she has eased up into the lope steadily and you're looking for a steady tempo and a steady connection. She doesn't pull constantly on the line. You do want to keep her out in a steady position and you're going to try to turn and pivot as much as possible with very little walking. I more or less shift my left foot around constantly and my right one walks. I take about a half of a step as I turn. Your belly button stays at her eye and you keep turning yourself as she turns. The point of all of this is to practice the transitions, keeping the horse on the bit and never to lunge a horse more than just a few minutes at a time. Lunging in Western tack can be very helpful for you and it is cross training for Western dressage to help the horse to learn to stay in the on the bit or in connection balance on the side reins without the rider's weight and to develop and keep muscle. There are times in a horse's lifetime where you really need to keep the horse round and going and you possibly can't ride but you need to keep them in connection to keep their muscles. So 10 minutes or less a day with a lot of transitions can be very helpful. This video is not intended for anyone who has never lunged a horse. We have information for you and you should reach out to a professional. You can contact me for help with that, but reach out to professionals to get information on how to start horses because you should never put the side reins directly on a horse immediately that has never been lunged. And there are uh, procedures for starting a horse in side reins and starting a horse lunging. And this video is not for that purpose. Here you can see that she came to a very quiet, steady halt, stayed in position. And I take up the line as I walk up to her head and um, give her a pat and you go right to um, the shoulder and remove the inside side rein and then um, remove the outside side rein for safety. It is important that as you think about lunging a horse, you are teaching it to keep a consistent circle. You are teaching it to keep a continuous connection and you are working to keep steady impulsion. This is your opportunity to develop work ethic and continuous impulsion for work, which is necessary as you progress up the level. Cross training becomes essential in Western dressage in an effort to help a horse to continue to develop. And keep in mind to work the horse equally in both.